Hello Libra and welcome to your weekly reading. Libra, this is for the week of January 2nd through the 8th, uh, 2022. So Happy New Year to you all. If you're new to my channel, welcome to Force for the Trees. I appreciate you all being here. If you're returning, thank you so much for your likes, shares, and subscribes. For all the um, comments, all the things, I appreciate you guys. Anything you need is going to be listed in the description below. The decks I use, if you'd like a personal reading with me, or if you'd like to know more about astrology, everything is below, so help yourself. All right, Libra, let's see what we have going into the first full week of January 2022. Now, 222 is a number six, which is a number of harmony, peace, success. So let's keep our fingers crossed, right? All right, let's see what the cards have to say for you. Start with the three of wands. It's been showing up in every reading I've had. Movement forward. Everybody's ready to move forward. Everybody's ready to move on. Making a decision, going places, going somewhere. Uh, Hierophant, keeping things traditional. Page of Cups. Bottom of the deck, we have the lovers. Very interesting. So if you're in a relationship, this could be deepening the relationship um, between you all. You could be getting serious. Again, we have a number six, so it's a, a number of harmony. You could be getting along better. If you're uh, in a relationship, if you're not in a relationship, you could be getting into one. There could be somebody that... Um, you know, you really click with, or you really have a, um, and I have to say, it reminds me of a hairdresser, so they could be a hairdresser, or you could be a hairdresser, because two things, it's the hair, and this looks, it looks like a smock that the hairdressers use, and I've never seen that before, so I just have to say it, in, in case, you know, you're a hairdresser, and you're listening, or your partner's a hairdresser, um, things could be deepening, things could be going into, um, a more serious, you could be taking things to the next level, possibly, um, I also see this as seeing each other for who you really are. Um, very vulnerable, standing there, you know, um, and really, really knowing who you're with. Really understanding that and being okay with that. Um, so we have the Three of Wands, and we have the Hierophant and the Page of Cups. Three of Wands is a card of making a decision. You've already made the decision. You've already had your options. You've already weighed the pros and cons of all the choices you've had and and you've made a choice you know they chose growth they chose movement forward um it's kind of like if you put out a bunch of resumes you are waiting for um an answer you know you know it's out there you're waiting for an answer if you have um if you've been accepted somewhere you're waiting for a start date kind of that feeling um if you put a bunch of um dating sites out there maybe that's where this is coming in also this is subconscious energy so could be what you're trying to manifest um but it's it's something that you've already done but you're waiting to see the results you're waiting for um you know either an answer or some type of movement on their part you've done your end then you have the Hierophant. So to me, it's almost like you're looking for marriage. You're looking to be traditional. You're looking for something um, maybe that has been passed down from, you know, maybe what your parents had or um, your grandparents even. You, you want something traditional. You want something that is... Um, I feel like you want something that is legal is what I feel, honestly. Five is change. Maybe you're living together. Maybe you want to make it official. Maybe you want to get married. Hmm. Um, the Hierophant can also be a counselor. It could be a guide. It can be a spiritual advisor of some sort. Um, very knowledgeable person. Interesting. Now, in retrospect to whatever this is, you could be hearing from somebody. You could be hearing from a person, possibly. Um, it could be a person from your past. It could be a person that you know. Something that's going to take you by surprise. Like, oh, wow, I really didn't expect to hear from this person. That kind of energy. It is a Cups energy. So, it is Scorpio, Pisces, or Capricorn. It is, um, I, I swear, Scorpio, Pisces, or Cancer, not Capricorn. <laughs> It's been a day. Um, so that's that's a possibility. It could be a water sign. It could be somebody 
Um, if, if it is somebody that's coming in, they're not very mature, or this could be their new uh, first relationship, or um, it's it's they're just they could be a, a older person, but their the maturity level's not there. So you could be dealing with that too. I'll pull a clarifier on that card here in a minute. Um, the Hierophant is a card of Taurus. So if that has any significance in, again, you could be wanting to do things traditional. You could be wanting to do things almost like the old fashioned way is what I'm, I keep hearing. And you've made your mind up. You know, maybe this is the year that you're looking for love. Maybe this is the, the year that you're looking for that commitment. All right, let's pull the clarifier on the page of cups. Oops, or it's gonna pull it on me. Queen of Swords. Hmm. Well, Libra, I'd almost have to say that's you. Uh, sword energy. Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Um, hmm. This person might be like a tutor. Could be somebody if you're teaching or training or showing something to. As far as it might not be a love interest at all. It just might be a younger person that you are um, you're engaged with. Maybe you're teaching somebody something. There's knowledge to be had here for this person. What it could be is that um, if that's you, and again, if you're a male watching this, it's it's just the energy. Um, it's kind of somebody behind the scenes that gets things motivated, gets someone motivated, and gets things going. Really by the book, really truthful, really honest. You're not afraid to use the sword. You don't want to, but you're not afraid to. Communication, really good with communication. This could be somebody that you reach out to, maybe for help or guidance, or maybe, um, maybe, um, maybe you're looking for somebody to fix something or do something, and you reach out to them, or maybe you reach out to them. Maybe that's who you pick. Hmm. Or this could be a new relationship coming in that's young. You know, it could be a young relationship, meaning you haven't been in it very long. Or that, again, that they could be immature. And maybe you're trying to guide them and teach them and you're like, you know, I really can't do this. I mean, she looks fed up. <laughs> um, this person can be too eager. Um, too in your face, too too much, uh, kind of like a puppy. Or it could be somebody that comes in to the relationship that really surprises you, that you think, oh, this isn't going to work out. Um, but I just feel with the Queen of Swords coming in as a clarifier, I feel that you picked this person or you had a hand in this somehow. All right. Y'all taught me no Libra. Very interesting. Very interesting. Potential. Potential. Potential's there. The potential's all around you. You know, you've made your decision up. You've made your mind up on, on what I'm thinking of is how you want, how you want your life. You know, you want a partner. You want somebody to share it with. You want something more traditional. You don't want an open marriage or an open committed. You know, you want something committed is what I feel. Potential. This card is called Volcan Volcano at Rest, which is it's a beautiful card. This says the card appears when you are ready to activate your potential and step into your strength. This is the time to activate those gifts that you've had on the back burner in your life. You have incredible untapped potential. This is a time to allow it to flow. An inner wellspring of power is emerging and you have the profound spiritual power that is deep within you. 
Do not doubt your great authority and capabilities. A dormant volcano might indicate that you have uncomfortable emotions and that are, you're repressing or keeping inside, thus creating emotional stress and inner pressure. It can also mean that you are on the verge of a great expansion of energy and life force. So time to activate the gifts. Time to um, move forward on whatever plans you've had, whatever it is that you've chosen. If it is love that you're going after, go after it. You know, the Queen of Swords will go after it. She's not idle. She doesn't just sit around and wait for things to happen. She's a doer. She communicates. Again, you could be a he. He communicates. But it's more of a, um, again, the, you know, pulling a clarifier on that page is, is I just feel like maybe you reached out to this person or maybe you're attracted to this person or maybe you're going to be the one that, um, Maybe you're going to be the one that is shocked if you say, hey, you want to go out? And they say, yeah, you know, who knows? You'll have to let me know. All right. Take care of yourself and each other, Libra. Uh, good luck to you this week and happy new year. Until next week. Bye for now.